In this lesson, I want to spend some time looking at how to read uh, data from the network and incorporate uh, that data into our uh, into an app. Uh, the, the data that uh, is typically found on uh, the internet, it comes in a number of different formats, uh, primarily XML and JSON. Uh, and what we want to do is uh, show how to uh, and see how to actually read that data. I'm going to spend uh, in this episode uh, the time looking at uh, XML um, because I have a web service that we're going to access that comes in an XML format. Um, we will look at a, a separate uh, video that will uh, look at processing JSON data. The um, uh, the purpose of this um, uh, this particular episode isn't to uh, teach you specifically about XML or JSON. I want to refer you to um, some other resources that will do that. Um, so, for instance, W3Schools has a good XML overview, and JSON.org has a description of JSON. We've obviously uh, actually have been looking at JSON already um, with uh, some of the examples that we've looked at. Um, and some of the, the data that uh, is uh, processed with uh, titanium. Um, but uh, I would refer you to uh, these resources uh, uh, for more information on that. So uh, the facility that we're going to be using um, uh, comes as part of the titanium network uh, library. Uh, we're going to use the create HTTP client uh, method to uh, to do our processing, and so uh, the basic format of things that we need uh, to use uh, is shown here in this slide. We're going to use create HTTP client uh, uh, that function or that method to uh, create um, a um, uh, a handler for reading um, data from the network, and then there are two. Uh, uh, two event handlers that we need to create. One of them uh, that is called when data is actually read from the network. So once you've accessed a particular location, the uh, the onload function is called. Uh, there's also an on error function that is called when uh, there's an error in handling of the data from the network. And then two methods uh, used to actually uh, make the call or to, uh, to actually access the data. So one of them is uh, a method that's used to specify the protocol, that's, or at least the, uh, the, uh, the REST call that's being used. So uh, in this case, uh, in the example that we're going to look at, uh, the protocol is GET, but there's four different uh, uh, four different commands that we could use there, but get is primarily what we'll see. And then an, a URL that gives a location of where the web service actually uh, uh, lives. And then finally, there's the actual send command. When the send command is, is uh, sent, um, then this URL is accessed using this product or this command. Uh, and then when the data is actually read, on load is called. If there's an error, on, on error is called. Uh, once all that, uh, once you enter into the onload function, uh, what happens is that you, if depending on the type of data that's read, uh, you can access them using either XSR response XML or response text or response data, and each of those corresponding to different formats. Okay, so let's actually uh, let's actually do this um, and uh, write the code uh, to access some data. Uh, the data that I want to look at is actually um, formatted in the following way. Um, this is some XML code, uh, and this is an example of uh, a snippet of code that comes from a web service that we've created here at Miami uh, that has a list of buildings. Uh, the structure of this is uh, looks a lot like uh, HTML, if you've ever seen HTML. And I want you to notice that you have uh, you have this result tag here that's closed by, actually there should be a slash here, um, closed by this result tag. And then within that you have a buildings tag, so here's the open of buildings and close. And then contained within those are the, um, the building 
uh, information for each particular building um, uh, within the data set. In this particular case, we want to look at the names of each of the buildings and the codes for each of the buildings. We're going to read those uh, and then we're going to display them in the app. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the actual web service, and that's uh, uh, that's found here. Uh, so the uh, uh, when you visit this URL, uh, you get this data, which is all of the the buildings at the uh, at the Miami campus, and I can expand all these. There's something like 103 different buildings, uh, and each of them have a distinct name and a distinct code. Okay, so let's, uh, let's build this. Uh, I want to start off by looking at the, um, the, uh, the table example that we created in one of the previous uh, podcasts. Uh, I just modified it sh uh, briefly to, uh, to have some data in there so that we can actually display uh, these things in the list. We're actually going to change this part of the program to uh, to read the data, but at the moment uh, this looks exactly like it should have uh, after we had done one of the previous podcasts. The only difference is that uh, I've added the data for the building, so there's a name and a code, and then uh, I've changed the, the row data a little bit to incorporate that data. Um, so I have the name and the code for buildings. And then finally, the detail of what's actually displayed has modified, has modified a little bit. And here's what it looks like within the simulator. So this is just all hard-coded data. And what we want to do is read all the data from the network instead of having it just displayed um, statically. Uh, but anyway, once we get everything done, I should be able to connect or click on a building. And then there will be um, the name of the building and the code for the building. So <clears throat> we're going to modify this, and uh, I want to start with uh, changing the uh, app.js. Uh, and what we're going to do with this is uh, use exactly that, uh, that code that I showed you before, or at least the, the starting point of that. And let me bring it back up here. Um, I want to use this information right here to... Uh, uh, to populate my program. Okay, so uh, so what I can do, first of all, I need to get rid of this data. I don't need that. I'm going to create a just a blank array that has nothing in it. Uh, and then, let's see, I need to still require the list win. I need to create my uh, navigation group. Um, but uh, now what I want to do is uh, uh, use my, uh, my network library to load in the create HTTP client method. And then uh, I want to create my two on load, or sorry, my two functions. So I have uh, on load equals function. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And then I want to have uh, on error. Okay, so uh, with the on load piece of it, uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to take this code here. I'm just going to pop it into this uh, into this function. And so, uh, after I've read my data, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to pass it to the uh, to the table um, uh, module that I created, and then I'm going to add that to the navigation, and then add the navigation to the window. Uh, so, but this. This part right here is still in need of some code for reading the XML data. And then um, after that, uh, I also need something here to say that uh, what happens when I have an error. 
So I'm just going to add an alert that says uh, error reading data. And then I finally need to set this up. Um, I need to open a particular URL. And then in this case, I want to open up the URL for this web service. So I'm going to take this URL and I'm going to copy it and paste it into this command here. And then finally, I need to send this. Send. Okay, so there's still some stuff that I need to do in here for reading the XML data. I need to use the uh, the information from the response XML that I receive. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end this uh, I'm going to end this um, this screencast here. And in part two, uh, we will actually read in the data. And, uh, and process all the data. Um, so anyway, I'm going to conclude this here. Um, and then um, uh, we've got all the setup data that we needed. Um, and in the next podcast, we're going to actually process the data. Okay.